right, y'all. These ALDS games. Okay, not so much Houston because Houston is laying it on Boston. But this Indian Yankees game was absolutely out of this world entertaining. This was not the greatest skilled game. I mean, there were definitely mistakes made on both sides, not just the Yankees. But this was everything you could have asked for. It had everything from top to bottom. It had clutch home runs, clutch hits. This had airs. This had great pitching. This had bad pitching. This had mistakes on the bases. I mean, it had everything from top to bottom. This was the most entertaining game of the year, including the regular season as well. I mean, <laughs> what can you say, man? The Indians are magical, dude. The Indians are magical. It's, there's no other way to put it. I mean, you're down 8-3 to three with arguably, besides yourself, the best bullpen in baseball. They had Chapman, Matances, Chad Green, Adam Warren. They had all these dudes ready to go. And they, they came back, man. Eight, down 8-3, eight to three, you're down 5. Uh, Encarnacion gets hurt in the very first inning. I mean, it's unfortunate how that turned out. But they, they answered back, man. It, it wasn't a problem for them. I mean, they, they all stepped up, and they, they ended up winning the game in, in 13 innings. It was pretty remarkable. Um, early in the game. Uh, I mean, let's just call it the way it is. Kluber did not pitch well. Uh, I mean, it, it happens, man. It happens, especially in this postseason where not very many starters have pitched that well. If you take away Houston, who's pitched well in this postseason? I mean, nobody. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very weird and a very odd thing, especially in this time of year. Usually you have pitchers who throw their best, but unfortunately, I mean, Kluber just didn't have it today, and he didn't pitch well. That I mean, there's no other way around it. Uh, the dude's been a stud, but he just didn't pitch well, and, and it is what it is. But at the same time, this is why Cleveland is the way they are, man. I mean, Kluber gives up six, and uh, Clevenger gives up two, but their bullpen put up zeros the rest of the game. I mean, it, it's remarkable. It really is absolutely insane how good their bullpen is. Once you got past Kluver, Kluver and Clevenger, their bullpen put up zeros for, for the rest of the game. And what was it, like 10 innings or something like that? It was something crazy. And it, it really does show you that bullpen means everything, especially in the postseason. If you have a great bullpen, you can beat anybody. And it doesn't matter how much you're down by. And it clearly showed today. And that's the reason why the Yankees are down 2 nothing because their bullpen failed to, to make pitches and execute when they had the opportunity. And, and that's why they're sitting in the position that they're in. But the player of the game, oh, man, I mean, Frankie Lindor, man, how do you, how is he not the player of the game? Granted, the bullpen pitched phenomenal, but Lindor, man, if he don't hit that grand slam, they don't come back. I mean, it's pretty obvious and it's pretty clear. Uh, Lindor is the man. I mean, Puerto Rican Rays, the dude hit the, he had the greatest swing of the season so far. Uh, that grand slam made it a one-run game and put him back in it. And then Jay Bruce, the following inning, tied it up with the solo shot. And basically, you, you could feel the momentum switch from there once he once uh, Lindor hit the grand slam because that, that gave them hope. And when you give a team like the Indians hope, it's not a good sign. And yeah, both managers, I thought they did pretty. They did a very good job. Uh, Girardi, obviously, people are criticizing Girardi, and most of them are Yankees fans. Uh, screw the Yankees fans. I mean, they were praising him two games ago when he managed a perfect game against the Twins, and all of a sudden he's the most hated man in New York. Uh, screw you, Twins fans. Girardi is a great manager. I don't care what you people say. Uh, this falls on the players. It 100% falls on the players. You're up 8-3, to three, and you're... 12, 16 outs away from evening the series against a team like the Cleveland Indians, this falls on the players 100%. You, There's no excuse. They, they just straight up, they did not get the job done. This does not fall on Girardi. This does not fall on his managerial, um, you know, how he managed the game or anything like that. 
this is 100% the player's fault. They did not get the job done. And and this is, uh, I mean, yeah, I would probably, me personally, I probably would have went with Batances in the eighth instead of Robertson. I probably would have uh, pulled Robertson and put Batances in the eighth and had Chapman close it out in the ninth. But that's just me. That's why I'm not the manager of the New York Yankees. And that's why Girardi went with who he did. And you can't blame him because Robertson, up until this point, has been masterful. He's dominated everyone he's faced. So you can't really criticize the guy because a lot of people would have done the same thing. So, uh, so just call it the way it is. The Yankees are down 0-2. Are they probably going to get swept at this point? Probably because this was their their big shot, their big opportunity to get back in the series, and and they uh, they didn't come through. So they're down 0-2. And at this point, who knows what's going to happen. I can't imagine they're going to give up, but at the same time, uh, this hurts. This hurts big time if you're a Yankees player and a Yankees fan. Uh, my prediction, they're going to get swept, man. They're going to go to New York on Sunday, and they're going to come out with a win, and they're going to move on to the ALCS. So, uh, But, I mean, great game all around. This was very good baseball, very bad baseball, but overall it was a very entertaining game. And the second game of the ALDS, we had the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. And this was basically the same thing as the first game. It was a beatdown. They beat the Red Sox at every part of the game. Uh, hitting, pitching, bullpen, defense, everything. Um, Keiko pitched fantastic. He pitched up to par. And this is the reason why Houston's in the position where they're in. Because they got two dominating starters. You got ace one and ace two with Keuchel and Verlander and it really does show how big Verlander becomes a part of this team once he got traded because I mean Keuchel pitching the game one and then whoever pitching game two is not as scary as obviously Keuchel throwing game two and Verlander in game one but and this also really shows how bad the Red Sox rotation is man I mean granted Pomerantz had a decent year overall but him as your game two starter, man. I mean, it it's just a it's a slap in the face, man. Just for Red Sox fans, really. I mean, they had a great year, but it's obvious that they're not built for the playoffs because with a rotation like that, you're not going to win anything and you're not going to beat anyone. So, I mean, it is the way it is, man. They're going to have to go to the drawing board and they're going to have to find some starting pitching in the offseason 100% because as long as they have who they have in the rotation, it's not going to work. I mean, granted, Price pitched well and a couple of other guys pitched well like Kimbrell, but it's not enough, man. I mean, Price, you're paying him, what, $217 million to pitch two innings as a reliever? I mean, come on. It's not working. They got to try something else, and they're going to have to figure it out in the offseason because them two, I have them getting swept. I mean, you're going to call it the way it is. The Red Sox, they're just not as good as the Houston Astros. So it is what it is, and uh, we'll see what happens on Sunday. I, at this point, I had hopes maybe New York would, would uh, scratch a game away from Cleveland, especially when they went up 8-3. to three. I was pretty confident the game was over at that point. They didn't get it done, and you did Boston. And I have both of them getting swept, but we'll have to wait and see. So make sure you guys click a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are new. And we are out. I will check you guys out later. Make sure you guys go check out my video on the NLDS Game 1 videos. Peace, guys.